Hey guys, so I just want to tell you a little bit about what happened this week. Um, so we needed to have part of our property cleared. Um, we'll be putting in a septic system and some trees had to be taken down that had really huge um, stumps. And it was just something that we knew that we couldn't tackle by ourselves. Um, last time we had to remove stumps, our neighbor came and used his excavator to get them out for us. So um, we kind of knew we had to hire this part out. So we, um, we got a quote and it was really, really reasonably priced. So um, we had two guys come out two days ago. They spent a good portion of the day kind of clearing out our land and then about a half day yesterday. Um, and I just wanna show you what they did. So they took out all of the trees and the brush um, and they graded out kind of like a coarse rough grade here. Um, that this whole entire area right through here and then all the way down here um, this hopefully will be where our septic system gets put in and as you can see we have two huge burn piles that we're gonna have to get through two to three times bigger than our initial burn pile here that we did ourselves. but while the guys were here we were like hey why don't you just clear out the rest of the clearing that we were going to do, rip out those large pine stumps, and then give our give our property just a kind of like a nice grade. And they did. So all in all, you all know that Nathan and I love to do everything ourselves, but unfortunately this project was just way too big. Um, we don't have the equipment to rip out stumps at this point. Um, so it actually just worked out for time and finances just to have these guys come out and do it in a day and a half. Um, and we're really happy with how everything turned out. So once everything is cleared and ground is graded and tilled, we're looking at about three acres of workable, usable land for pasture, garden, and for our house. Um, at this point, we feel like it's, it's enough for now. Um, maybe in a couple years, if we wanna do more, we'll look into clearing more but I think three acres is, is perfect for our homesteading goals right now. Husband breaks chainsaw, so wife uses handsaw. That doesn't make any sense to me. This is where we've been storing a lot of logs and uh, I got the tractor stuck. So if I can't get this out, that's gonna really ruin our awesome weekend here. Fortunately, I have these traction boards for my truck, which we use when we go uh, off-roading in case we get stuck. So we're gonna give this a whirl, see what happens. Well, that was the last log. We officially cleared all the land of the logs, minus the giant pile of logs, but the ones that, <laughs> the giant two piles. Um, but we picked up everything that we needed to pick up that we're saving. Everything else is a burn. So we're gonna stop and get some lunch, and then we're gonna come back out and start on phase three, I don't know. The next project. The next, the next part, um, where we get this uh, all cleaned up and leveled out. Um, and then we'll look to till and plant. So I'm not sure how much we'll get done today, but uh, we're gonna keep pushing until we, we finish this all up by Monday. I'm hungry. Me too. Okay. Let's eat.
dead. Hello everyone, it's the end of Saturday. Uh, 5.45 right now, so I'm gonna call it night. Didn't get as much done as I wanted to do, but as you can see, all the logs are done. Uh, we completely drove around with this box blade and picked up as much of the uh, the roots and everything we could. We even dug up more than I think we should have. Um, but I just connected the tiller to the tractor and tomorrow we will start tilling and uh, see how that goes. I'm gonna read the manual tonight. So just to make sure <laughs> I didn't miss anything. to go what two inches deep and this was our first pass there's a ton of roots in here tons of roots on earth <laughs> tons of roots on earth there's so many sticks too and those are the roots we're gonna try to adjust it to make it go deeper but it might just be a second pass as well um let's see how it is over here Oh, I mean, this is, Whoa. Yeah. I put it down all the way over here. Maybe that's the difference. Yeah, this is perfect, right? Yeah, that's, that's great. Two, that's two inches. Maybe that's, what are we gonna do? If you, if well, you smash a rock in here, it goes so deep. Mm -hmm. It's tilled. Well, I guess um, I will do the rest of this. See how it goes. Okay. Well, it's the end of Sunday. It's uh, just shy of six o'clock again. And we tilled about, I don't know, a third, maybe an acre of what uh, we have cleared here. And uh, definitely a learning experience, but this is ready to plant. Um, so tomorrow we're gonna put some clover down, uh, some white clover, some red clover, and I think uh, some annual rye, um, all good plants, cover crops for putting nitrogen in the soil, uh, for start building root systems. Uh, because the goal is eventually, this is all pasture. Uh, this will be what our animals are grazing on. So uh, it's going to take a little bit to get it there, but <laughs> clearly this is not, uh, this is not what we need. This is not good enough. So um, yeah, so tomorrow is Monday, Presence Day. I'm off work, which is why I took advantage of this long weekend to get a lot of this done. Um, so until tomorrow, we'll see you then. All right, we did it. It is time to plant. So I have a bunch of different seeds here. I have white clover, red clover, and a white and red clover mix. So our goal is obviously to plant clover. Um, we don't want to mow, and clover only gets, you know, about 8 to 10 inches tall. And it's good for nitrogen, putting that into the soil. It's actually one of the best things you can do just to... Uh, one to, as a cover crop and two just to you know get something growing so I'm gonna split these into uh, one acre buckets so some of these are half acre bags some of them are and I think there's three acres of seeds in this one so uh, the goal is to make three pails of this mix and then we'll be able to get out and start planting people saying, hey, why don't you use a broad, broadcast spreader on this? Well, it's very, very small. Um, I'm trying to even think what I can explain it as. 
almost like a spice. So for most spreaders, it will just pour right through and won't be able to control it. But, you know, it's cover crop. I mean, I don't think I can screw it up too much. Could be wrong. But, all right, let's finish this up. What you doing? Seeds. Thank you. Are you all done sowing seeds? Mm. I'll just put them more in the same spot. <laughs> How are we looking? I have some left over. That's good. Brielle's just throwing all of our seeds right here. One well, pile. We've got a big cluster of clover. Mm -hmm. The Brielle Clover Cluster. Hey. Yeah, you. You're cute. All right. <laughs> so we did it. We officially seeded all of the land. Um, we this weekend we what we we picked up all the logs. We tilled. Um, we used the box blade and leveled everything out. And then we also seeded. So everything that we needed to get done, we got done. And. What's next, Brielle? Please don't touch the camera. You're gonna knock it over. Brielle. So for what's next, we have hopefully our home being built in the next few months here, next two months. Uh, we'll be breaking ground, chicken coop. Um, garden. Garden. And who knows what else we'll be doing. Thank you for everyone who has subscribed as we're trying to build this channel. Uh, we really appreciate everyone and if anyone has any comments or any suggestions or anything you'd like to see please feel free to put in the comments below um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time. Ta -da.